July the 19th, 2004. I was boarding a plane for Singapore and would like to the airport. My family, my relatives, and my close friends were all there to be me farewell. Two strangers, I was just an overly excited boy who was going on a plane for the first time. But to my parents, I was leaving home, and they didn't know when I was going to go back. And to me, that marked a monumental moment that would change my life forever, from then on. There are many moments of change in my life that I cannot remember all of them, but there are three moments that I will never forget. I was born in a poor family. So when I was born, we had a self-made wooden house with poorly constructed roof that poured water down whenever it was raining. And when, the, when it was raining so heavily, water would raise up to the edge of our beds and everything else would float around just like little islands on an ocean of sewage water. My parents decided that that was, a, that was not a good place to raise me up. They decided that they needed a better plan. They would take two jobs each in order to earn money, to buy a piece of land, and to build a house for us. And that is why, when I was six years old, they sent me to my, parents, to my grandparents' house, at least to give me a roof to sleep under. I left home for the first time when I was six, and that moment was the first change in my life. Of course, my grandparents loved me a lot. But with just myself, with no guidance, I had to learn to rely on just myself, but no one else. I had to learn how to find ways to keep me busy. I had to learn to earn the courage to find my destiny in the future. Five years later, my parents earned enough money to build a house. They brought me back. I moved in. But it's understandable that at that time, I wasn't very close to them. That gave me a weird sense of home. That gave me a journey of my life to find the meaning of home. Now, 11 years ago, I have already told you I left from Hanoi to Singapore. That was the second time that I left home, and that was the second big change in my life. They say when you are away from home for days, it's just in the first phase, excitement. Everything is still so new. People are still so nice. Friends are still so encouraging. You don't miss home so much. But when you are away from home for months, you enter the second phase, rejection. Suddenly, the meaning of a home once was starts to kick in. You feel worried. You start to compare everything with your house. Food is not so nice anymore. Friends are not so beautiful anymore. You want to go home. Now you want to go home. And when you are away from home for years, you are stuck in the third phase, acceptance. You are there long enough to feel the connection with the new place. Now, you start to ask yourself a big question, your identity. Now, what is home? I asked myself that question, and that question entered my very core. That made me feel, is Vietnam my home, or is Singapore my home? So you, when you are away from home for 11 years, I mean, it became another different story. It's no longer a feeling, it's a matter of choice. I have been there for so long. I have so many friends there. I had a rock band. I had a good job. I have built my credibility and my reputation in Toastmasters community there. Why do I need to leave? That was when I almost thought Singapore was my home. There comes the third change. Life is so unexpected, isn't it? I have been an engineer for possibly seven years now. The more I work as an engineer, the more I felt detached from that profession. I don't like an engineering job anymore. At the same time, I realized that my personality, my passion all converged into the same point. That is leadership and people development. I started to become a trainer in Singapore. I started, delivering, I started delivering speeches, workshops, first for Toastmasters and then for other companies. I started to build myself up to be a better trainer. I earned myself a master's degree in training and development. And I prepared myself for the biggest change of my life. That day finally came. Three weeks ago, 26th of October 2015, I boarded a plane from Singapore to Ho Chi Minh City. That was the third time I left my home, and that was the third 
biggest moment of my life. Back then, eleven years ago, I had my family, my friends, and my relatives to bid farewell to me. This time, I wanted to leave Singapore in silence. Why? Because I was so sure that Singapore was not my home. So now, I'm here in front of you. Home is where you can do what you love. Live with the person you love and be loved for the rest of your life. I'm speaking in front of you. I'm doing what I love. I'm sharing my stories. This is home. I still have a lot to tell you about my parents. They are the strongest, the bravest, the kindest people in the whole world. I have a lot to tell you about my journeys in Singapore. I still have a lot to tell you about my struggles. But let's save all that for the near future because we just know each other. Now, the only thing I want to tell you is, Vice President, fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Daniel, and I'm finally home.